remarkable widespread sight. You see the lights of Manhattan across the Hudson go dark, just like that. Just after 5.15 a.m., more than 300 city blocks went dark. Before sunrise, almost the entire Upper West Side, all of Morningside Heights, Hamilton Heights, and parts of Harlem, Washington Heights, and the Upper East Side went dark. We had what? A storm that like literally knocked down half the trees like two days ago, and what do you get? Two days later, oh, after we clean up the whole store, that's when we get the power outage? Adam Feld is one of the 180,000 customers left in the dark, according to Con Edison. But remember, each customer is an electric meter. So that means that over a quarter million people were affected by the blackout, including essential workers stuck on trains or in elevators. About a third of the entire island of Manhattan was in the dark. Con Ed is so, I mean, every, uh, New York City is upside down. Con Ed said this morning that a transmission problem caused three networks in Manhattan to lose their electrical supply for 28 minutes. The power came back on in Manhattan. However, this is Middle Village, Queens, which went dark around the same time as the Manhattan blackout. I think our frustration comes that we always lose power. This is our third time this summer. Tuesday, we lost power in the morning. It was about 12 hours. They restored it. And then this morning, about 5.30, yeah. we lost it again. The utility has slowly been restoring power to neighborhood, that it's waiting for utility crews from the western U.S. to join the ones working overtime here. As for the big blackouts today, we continue to investigate um, the precise cause of that tr transmission disturbance. And as you look at some electric meters there, yes, that was the president of Con Ed saying about these blackouts that happened today and the power that's been out for so many people. He said, quote, we get it, unquote, that it is no fun to be without power, especially as we're looking for temperatures to be quite high over the weekend and early next week when they hope to have everybody back online. We will certainly keep on this and try to hold them to it. Right now, reporting live from Middle Village, Queens, I'm James Ford, PIX11 